Hey guys, today we are driving the 2021 Toyota Corolla Apex. This is Toyota's new handling package for the Corolla sedan. It comes in the SE and XSE trims. Here we have an SE, and basically it includes some nicer looking black alloy wheels that save a little bit of weight, solid sway bars, and a set of lowering springs that lower the car by 0.6 inches. There's also a lot of interior and exterior trimming. And uh, yeah, let's walk you around this new Apex and show you what it is all about. We'll take it for a drive, see if the handling has improved substantially, and uh, we'll take it from there. As you can see, we have a new gauge cluster for 2021. This looks pretty good, pretty sharp. It's very easy to read, a lot better, I think, than the old blue gauge cl cluster that was on the previous Corollas. At least I believe this is new. Um, it's definitely different from the last XSE we drove. New for 21, you also get Android Auto compatibility on top of Amazon Alexa and Apple CarPlay. We have a CVT. There are only 6,000 of these Corolla Apexes being made. Uh, all of them are going to be CVTs except for 120 manuals, which is a bit of a shame because the manual is a really good, and this would be a pretty nice package to pair with the six-speed manual transmission and the Corolla. We have these nice cloth seats, and you guys know the rest of this. It's pretty basic Toyota Corolla. Um, if you've watched any of my previous reviews, I do like the Corolla sedan quite a bit. It's just a great daily driver. It's nicely sized. It handles well. It's reasonably fun. And this Apex hopes to increase the driving pleasure. As you can see, you've got a little bit of an aggressive body kit on here and uh, these kind of sharp looking bronze accents that look pretty cool. That carries over to a black roof, blacked out mirrors, the side skirts kind of look similar to the Camry TRD, but we don't have TRD badging on this. We also have blacked out badges, this trunk spoiler that looks pretty sharp different design from the standard Corolla. And the rest is just good old Toyota Corolla. You can't go wrong. These uh, wheels remind me a lot of the wheels that were on a Scion TC back in the day. powered by Toyota's two liter dynamic force engine. It's a nice revy motor with a good amount of power. CVT in this has a actual physical first gear so you can get off the line a little bit quicker. And in practice, it's actually quite nice to drive. This is one of the few CVTs I would actually, actually consider owning have a reverse camera with guiding lines, auto climate control, lots of good things here. There we go. All right guys, let's see if this uh, Apex stacks up as kind of the driver's Corolla. I'm still holding out for the Corolla GR, but this might win some enthusiasts over until that shows up. You also get a sport tuned exhaust that gives this just a little bit more tone at wide open throttle and on startup. Summer tires are also an option. It's quite sharp off the line for a CVT, and that is nice. That is one of my biggest complaints. And as you can hear there, you can definitely feel the stiffer suspension. This may not be the right Corolla to get for uh, potholed Michigan roads. We 
have some simulated shifts. The exhaust seems to be nicely tuned. There's just a little bit more of a tone, but not as much drone. You, you get a slightly aggressive exhaust note at wide open throttle, but it's not something that I'm hearing all the time, like, uh, like in the camera TRD. The suspension on this is noticeably stiffer. You can definitely feel it on these roads. Hopefully though, it adds a little bit more to the handling experience. Let's put us into sport mode, manual. We can use the paddles. And with the CVT, it actually feels pretty good. this into a corner and see what happens. Oh yeah, a lot more mechanical grip. The steering feel is great. There's a little bit of rotation here. Yeah, this is a, uh, this would be a little canyon carver. The standard Corolla is no slouch. It actually handles quite well. And it's definitely a much better ride handling balance than this uh, Apex Edition. But if uh, the ride quality is something that you're willing to kind of give up a little bit and you want something with a sportier suspension setup, this Apex is probably the way to go. I do like that Toyota is at least making an attempt to get back into some sporty vehicles. While we're just sitting here, let's test out this standard audio system. This is not the JBL like we've listened to in the past. Let's see how it does in our speaker test. is an upgrade over this. And if you're going to be listening to a lot of music, I would recommend it. This thing is fun to drive. It's definitely got a lot more sharpness in the handling department. The ride quality, though, is super stiff. 
So if you're in an area with, with rough roads, uh, not sure I would recommend this stiffer suspension. It is a fun car to drive. I think, uh, you know, this looks a little bit sharper. It's a little bit more exciting for the driver. It would be nice to see this in hatchback form and uh, with more manual transmission options, at least a more manual transmission availability. Only 120 units being made in a manual. Uh, if, if you want one of these, I would try to snag one. Uh, let's see if you can't drive stick. Then the CVT actually isn't a bad option. This would be a fun autocross car. It definitely has the agility and nimbleness. On center with the steering, I can feel just a little bit of resistance to transfer weight and uh, might be the traction control kicking in a little bit too, so you'd have to turn everything off if you were, uh, if you were autocrossing this, but the suspension setup is quite good for limit handling and aggressive driving. And of course this comes with all the safety stuff, steering assist, lane keep, radar guided cruise control, all the goods in any modern Toyota with Toyota Safety Sense. One of my favorite things about the new Corolla is just how easy it is to drive and live with. The ergonomics here are fantastic. There's no nonsense, no frills. Toyota did a great job on just making this a simple car to live with, which I, uh, which I commend them on. That is, I think, something important, especially with all of the distracting elements in today's vehicles. Cruising on the highway here, pretty comfortable. A little bit more road noise, rattles, and ride harshness from the suspension tuning, as you would expect. Brake pedal feels good, nice and firm. Otherwise, that's about what you can expect from the new Corolla Apex. No real surprises here. It's your standard Corolla, but stiffer, lower, and uh, more aggressively tuned. Would love to make these construction cones into a slalom, but I'm not going to. We're going to have to hold back just a little bit. Whoa. It's not Focus RS stiff, but it uh, definitely lets you know you're on lowering springs. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We will see you guys in the next video. We will also be posting a couple videos on the Winding Road channel of this Corolla Apex. So if you want just the sounds of the car, probably do a night drive or an evening drive on this. Head on over there to check those videos out. If you want to follow what I'm up to when I'm not filming, check me out on Instagram at thetofer2. And also, if you have a chance, head on over to Daily Motors YouTube channel. That's my uh, co-host, Charlie reviews all of the cars that that we do on Winding Road and the Topher channel just with his own perspective. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.
it does look good in this white with all of the bronze accents. Look at this exhaust tip. That's kind of fun. I wonder how much. Oh yeah, definitely a little bit less uh, sound insulation and muffling going on back there. 